So we're getting close to the riverside now. I found the World Toilet Association. These are coconuts, coconut juice. Kiwi Mart, and that's just out of my head. Imagine the rest of my body. You're watching Tom Trips Out. I'm here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. We're in the center of town in the park, and I'm gonna show you the Independence Monument and uh, the statue of the king. Let's go take a look. camera doesn't do it justice. It's pretty amazing in person. The gold really shines and stands out. So we'll take a closer look. there's the Independence Monument. So we'll go over there and take a look at that now. So we are standing in front of the Independence Monument. It was built in 1958. Blue skies. Definitely wanted to get away from winter. You should uh, hit the subscribe button. So we're getting close to the riverside now. I had to run across this intersection, which is like crazy. I found the World Toilet Association. <laughs> Here's a little market set up right as the riverside starts. These are coconuts, coconut juice. iconic bar in Phnom Penh, right by the riverside, called the River Crown. Mul multiple levels. It's got multiple levels. And at night it's it's a hop and it's what the kids say I'm told. This is an example of what I mean by there's no sidewalk. So I'm literally walking on the road. I guess maybe for one day before New Year's here right now, so maybe that's why it's died down in the city a little bit. I've been walking around in the sun all day, so we're gonna head into the store here. Kiwi Mart, buy an electrolyte drink. I'll show you guys what's a good one to buy in Southeast Asia. It's one thing that's really important here is stay hydrated. I mean, check out the sweat stains on my hat alone. And that's just out of my head. Imagine the rest of my body. So I've been standing at this intersection for about two or three minutes already. Oh, see, I almost crossed and this car is coming. We're gonna head back to the hotel and I'll show you the nice hotel I've been staying in and extending my stay at. It's called the Bodum Palace Hotel. We'll do a little tour of that. People just think this is a good parking spot for my car. 
And now I'm literally walking out into the literal middle of the road. Motorcycles ripping by me. Now it's an interesting entrance to where the hotel is. When I first took a cab here from the other hotel, he had to do a couple circles because we couldn't find it because the entrance is actually down a small narrow alley. So this is the alley. This is the only little sign we have. Then I came rolling down here with all my luggage over these like cracked pavement and puddles thinking am I in the right place and the taxi guy already took off and then all of a sudden Bodum Palace Hotel was the right place once you're here it's quite nice kitchen area and I was hoping while I was gone they would clean the room but I think they didn't come around so I've got the garbage ready for them to take there's a kettle and coffee stuff here and there's two balconies so the first one is right here beside the kitchen a couple chairs Beautiful view, and then you look over to the right, and there's a giant construction project happening. But it's not very loud. Like what you hear right now is basically what it is. It's a low, soft rumble. And the windows and doors are pretty tight here, so as soon as you shut those, uh, you can't really hear it. Pretty full-size fridge. Lots of light, lots of windows. I don't come out on this one very much because it, it faces the construction project. And you got neighbors right there too, so the other one's more private. I use, I use the other balcony way more. And yeah, I'm paying about 20 bucks a night here. Well guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna do it for this episode. I'm going to go hang out on my shaded balcony and have a relaxing afternoon. And, uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and uh, like the video because it helps more people see it. And if you're interested in moving here and finding out what life is like, I've got lots more videos coming.